Hi, today is Monday the 2nd of March we, and this is the market outlook for SP. As you can see, we've had, as you can see on Friday, the market dipped even further to actually go test the 2550 area, support area. I mentioned on Slack on my morning notes that it could have been a capitulation all the way down to about 2800, 2810. It has not gone that far down. And towards the end, it looks like sellers took profit ahead of the weekend. And to my surprise, maybe, and there's not a lot of short selling since the market reopened on Sunday night. So now if we look at the chart, this is the 4-hour chart. Here we see that the strong support level now has gone down to 28.10 roughly and the fall stopped at the stall level around 28.90. That being said, we are still on a very strong sell signal, very much oversold and there is no real pressure to mean revert to uh, the mean would be somewhere around 30, 30 50 30 60 by the time markets reopened so at this point we have to look at 29.83 as the resilience levels for bears and if it passes it we will look at 36 30 60 as possible recovery a strong whipsaw would be just as bad as the fall last week. This was a terrible week. We have seen on news and commentators, I mean, this is from th almost 3,400 to 2,850. It's 550 points. This is absolutely crazy. But uh, is it over? I think the, this is time for stabilization. But we can't ignore the possibility of maybe if stall level isn't passed, there will be a second bout of selling. I do not anticipate it. Market is usually oversold. So maybe by tomorrow, Tuesday, the market will try and pass it. The, the 3000 mark to go and aim at 3060. At this point, I would expect some tug of war and probably with the market staying in this area above 2850. If we look at the longer time frame, very, very, very bearish, of course. Also, very much oversold. And the support may actually be lower than 28.10 here. We may even see the, the, the support level being all the way down to 2,500. I, I don't think it will be that bad because I think it will stabilize around here. But 28.10 would be in the short term a strong support that could also be broken eventually. I do anticipate on the contrary that the market will try and stabilize in this area so it, it's, it could, it's going to be a, a fairly large range from 28.10 to maybe 30.60. Lastly to have a look at how the day could unfold this is the one hour chart so we've seen here as well that that, that fall and the support, being, support levels being broken one after the other they held for a while I mean, I mean the, we could have had a, a bounce. I mean, this support level, 3200. Sorry for the sound quality for last week's video, but I announced that, yes, the market looked quite bearish, but I thought 3200 would hold. And then we had to, on our positions, to look at 3120. And then this large fall may be some form of capitulation. So we will see whether this holds and whether Again, the 2968, 2980 can be passed to eventually start some form of recovery. In terms of levels, we have the same levels here because this is the same pattern across all time frames. So the first essential level would be 2980. So from 2960 to 2980 will be a level to watch at the open today. I don't anticipate, or maybe a I hope there won't be a huge whipsaw with the market jumping up back to 31.20, which would be the second fib. I think at this time, if the market recovers and goes for min reversion, it will it would probably stall around 29.80. So we will see whether we have a the, the moving average shifting upward 
and then maybe we can see uh, some recovery uh, taking shape. Please note that the weekly recap will be uh, private for members of the class. Um, some extraordinary measures had to be taken last week and this is reserved for members of the Rhino class. And to wrap up, probably some attempt to go back to a high level but I don't see any whipsaw in the short term. And if in case of a double bottom here, 2850 could be tested again. It should bounce again, and but we can't discard the fact that 2810 or 2820 is a strong support for now. Okay, thank you for watching and bye for now.